everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video will be a story time i haven't done a story time in my channel for the longest time your bird friends are calling you so i haven't done a story time in a really long time on my main channel so i thought i would come to you guys and do a story time if you are interested in more story time just remember i do have a members only which is only story times excuse me which is only story time. So if you guys are interested in listening to more Korea story times, my members only, the royalty membership is the membership where you can watch weekly story times about dating in Korea, celebrities in Korea, um, living in Korea, like all the experiences that I've basically had in Korea. Today's story time will be about the nicest Korean celebrity that I've ever met and worked with, who is Park Bogom. I have said about, like I've talked about Park Bogom like so many times before on my channel because he is literally the best and nicest celebrity I've ever met and I've actually worked with quite a few Korean celebrities like more than 10 so for him to outshine all those like multiple people you know he was really kind so quick side note I was eating hot Cheetos before recording so if you're like why is her mouth orange yeah excuse me and my orange mouth so let's get started with today's story time if you guys did not know, I was in a drama called Record of Youth. I was in a runway scene that was in the first episode. If I can find the clip, I'll insert it here. If I don't insert it here, it's on my Instagram. So just make sure you follow me on my Instagram, um, paris.kagiri, and you can see like the drama footage there. Um, I was in a drama as an image model. As I told you guys before, I do not do extra jobs. Uh, I don't do extra jobs ever for dramas and if you want to know why i do have a story time on my members only of why i do not do extra work actually i was not supposed to be on that scene um my friend was actually the one who was supposed to be on that scene but she dropped out at last minute so i ended up taking her place and that's how i got the image role to be on record of youth we actually did well personally i personally did not know what drama i was shooting for like who was the celebrity they usually don't tell you who you're shooting with because they don't want you to like you know tell anyone or basically like you're not supposed to know basically you don't know who you are going to be shooting with until the day comes and they come out basically right so i didn't know that it was going to be Pak Bogom, so i went to the shooting area and a lot of people thought the shooting was in um europe N no it was in korea we got our makeup done um we had to get our makeup done our hair done and also the outfits were provided by the stylists who were there on set that day but we waited for a bit and then we ended up going to stand in line to how the like the runway scene was going to work so um, though somebody was first I think it was like another girl who was with me that day she was first I was second in line and then the other models who I really didn't know who they were were like you know sequenced down the line but we were waiting to shoot because we thought like maybe it's just a like I we didn't know the celebrity was gonna come out during the scene because as I said I did not know who was gonna come um, to shoot with us that day but as we we're waiting up comes freaking Pak Bogom like what so he comes up and i'm not even gonna lie i was not a fan back then um i wasn't really i wasn't really acquainted with him like i hadn't really watched a lot of dramas that he was in so i wasn't really freaking out i wasn't really reacting i was just like oh snap it's pop um and i remember like looking at his face and just being like how is this man's skin so clear like it was like airbrush in real life like his skin was so clear so i remember being like not even caring about the celebrity status i was more like concerned about how is his skin so clear he ended up coming to us he said hi to everyone like literally when i tell you most celebrities most celebrities don't even acknowledge your presence but he said hi to everyone he was like hi guys hi guys da, da, da. like he said hi to everyone and as his staff and his uh, makeup team is fixing his like outfit and his makeup i um, mean he's just standing there like trying to make conversation and i what well, he as i said i was second in line so he was actually third in line so he was behind me and he was supposed to come right after me but when he stood behind me he was with the staff and um I'm not, i don't know about other models but i personally don't like making conversation with celebrities because um one they might ignore you because um a lot of them do not like talking to you know us peasants so i wasn't really trying to make conversation because i didn't know how he was as a person you know like i don't know if he wants to talk to people or not he actually is the one who was starting conversations with people he was like asking people where are they from he was like saying like oh yeah, i've been there i haven't been there he was trying his hardest to talk to us and he was actually speaking in english which 
just shows that he was really taking like the extra step to try and make conversation with us because he didn't know if anybody knew Korean or not. So he was really trying to take the extra step to be very nice to everyone who was there. But anyway, let's skip that. So we did the runway scene and the runway scene was actually not one, like it was not one shoot basically. It was like you shoot one runway scene and then they cut and then they have to reshoot again. So on the third time that they had to reshoot, we ended up going on the left side of the stage. So if this is the runway, right? So you usually walk up, it's a runway, get a clue. If you don't know what a runway is, Google it. But this is the runway, so you walk up, you pose, 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 and then you walk around and you go back and then to the left of the stage, which will be like, if you're walking down, it will be to the right of the stage, but I'll say the left of the stage for the video. So to the left of the stage, it was me, Pakpogom, another girl, and then my friend Adrian, who I actually met during the shoot. So it was us four on that side. Was there another person? It was mainly us four having to like stand on the line of the of the runway so they had to like reshoot that part when we were walking we would come back and during the runway scene they would play music and i got this bright idea to just like dance back like to just like you know have fun like this shoot was long so i was like i'm trying to have as much fun as i can while i'm here so when you walk back there's a part where the camera could not see what you were doing so i got the bright idea to just dance back so i would like walk back and i would just like dance 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 and then i would get there and then i would wait for adrian to come back and then adrian would come back i'm like adrian you got it and we would all dance back even the girl who was there we all dance back and then it came to be Puck Bogum's, um it came to be Puck Bogum's turn to come back and to be honest i was kind of like scared to like you know hype him up also because i don't know how he's gonna react like i don't want people to be like Ugh. you know like you know like foreigners doing it is different because we have that like you know we just want to have fun type of attitude but i didn't know if that's the attitude he was on that day so i was just kind of like uh, i'm not sure if i should do it with him but he came walking back and i was like hey 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 and then he actually started dancing while he's walking back and i'm smiling right now because that was such a surprise i did not expect him to actually dance back i thought he was just gonna maybe like smile or just be shy and be like oh i can't do that guys i can't do this but for him to actually dance back i was like he's one of us like he's like just as like human as we are because some celebrities would never if you know the story time about the worst celebrity that i've ever met she he it would have never so for him to do that we were really surprised like i remember even the girl who was with me we were like oh my god i can't believe he's actually like you know like dancing back like we are so we shot that scene like maybe four times and every time he would come back we would like hype him up I'm like eh, eh, eh. go ball go go ball go 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 ball go which is probably rude because you know that's not his full name. But anyways, like we were just having fun. It was just a fun moment. It was such a fun shoot. And another thing I do have to mention, while we were like standing on the runway, he was standing by the by like the, the beginning of the runway. Adrian was in front of him and I was behind him ready to like walk the runway. And I remember this guy said hi to him, like one of the extra people who were sitting on the on the runway, like to, to watch the runway basically, said hi to Pak Bogom. And I was like, that was really strange. But Pak Bogom goes, oh, we've worked together before. And he's like, yeah, in another drama as an extra. And it just blew my mind that he remembered somebody he's worked with as an extra in another drama. like. I personally see people that I've worked with before and I barely even remember them. So for him to remember an extra actor, not even a main actor, not an actor who has a line, a, an actor who has no lines, an actor who's just sitting there for him to be like, oh, I remember you. I was like, this dude has amazing memory. And it just shows how nice he is because like, they didn't have to say hi. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, most celebrities would never. All I'm trying to say is he was a very nice person. He made conversation with us when we were waiting like on the left side of the stage. He would talk to us. He would take pictures with us. Now for the pictures though, we weren't allowed to take pictures because, well, you're obviously not supposed to take pictures of the celebrity if they're working, especially if it's on a set that has not even been announced. Because I think back when we were recording that drama, if I'm not wrong, I don't even think it was announced that the drama was coming out, but they were very strict on taking pictures. I didn't have my phone, the models didn't have their phone because obviously we were walking the runway, you can't have your phone. So we couldn't take pictures with him, but he whipped out his phone and started taking pictures with us. And I just thought it was like the kindest thing ever because I was like, you trying to take pictures with us? We should be taking pictures with you. We don't have a phone though, but we should be taking pictures with you. Like, it was very, 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 very nice. I've met like 
celebrities who were nice but he literally took it to the next level especially with the conversation and him just being just a normal person like he even asked me help on the runway and i was like i'm not a dude so i can't help you but you're doing great which he was he was doing really well so like kudos to him because i know he's not a model he's an actor but he was doing pretty well on the runway but yeah i can't help i'm a girl so we walk a little different he has definitely shot up as the nicest celebrity i've ever met and i honestly think he is the nicest celebrity i'll ever meet in korea like i feel like even after him, I think it's been like a year or a, like almost two years since I met him. And in those two years, no one has been as kind as he was. No one has even tried to make as much conversation as he did. Um, like most celebrities would do the high thing, but they're not going to stand there and try and make conversation with you. Or even try to like you know be friendly with you but for him to do that it just showed like how much of like a nice person he is and how big his heart is actually this was more than two years ago because this was before he went to the military so this was almost like three years ago i think he has a um, reputation in Korea to be like one of the nicest celebrities and I 100% believe it I'll, I'm there for it like if people say he's nice I'm like yes he is because I witnessed it firsthand how kind this man is and how he treats everyone with respect how he's very humble he doesn't like act like he's better than anyone where some celebrities will act like they're better than you like some celebrities will walk on set and they will like make sure you know they're the celebrity but he walked on set so nonchalant if he did not have his staff and his like team with him you would not even know nah you still know he's a celebrity because he was glowing he's very pretty in real life i was like i was looking at him i was like oh my god i was just like what is your skin routine like my guy you have perfect skin he is very beautiful like beautiful man kind heart like what more can we ask for but yeah all in all now i'm a fan <laughs> now i'm actually a fan of his and i wish him the best like anyways guys that is it for today's story time if you guys like these type of story times make sure you comment down below if you are a Pak Bogong fan comment down below like tell me why you are his fan like i'm his fan because i've met him and i've like witnessed firsthand how nice of a person he is how kind he is but tell me why you're his fan like what made you get drawn to him basically thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends also click the bell down below so you can get notifications for when i post notification gang what's up thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys bye guys Jeo sikia ni napoku